Warzone Season 3 is finally here, and the moment we've all been waiting for, Rebirth Island is available to play. Let's do it today. And before we get into the Rebirth Island gameplay, Warzone Season 3, the new patch had some buffs and some nerfs, and these are all of the Warzone Edition nerfs and buffs to all the weapons and attachments that I'm going to scroll through here. So you can see the Ram 7 was immediately nerfed. Uh, some of the MW2 guns here have obviously gotten buffed and nerfed too. And as you're just going through here, you can obviously take your chance and pause this on whatever you kind of want to like see for the information for Season 3. Or you can just go to charlieintel.com and obviously check out their website too. They do a very good job of covering everything. But you can see that there was a lot of changes to a lot of different weapons and a lot of MW2 ones in there too. So we're going to have a lot of content to make when it comes to Warzone Season 3. But as you can kind of just keep scrolling, something that's pretty cool that I've seen, uh, the DR6 hand stop is probably still going to be used. But the Bruin Heavy support that is the underbarrel is kind of the meta one that mostly everyone uses on almost all of the main assault rifles and your LMGs and all that. It definitely got nerfed from 12% down to 8%. And now I wonder if there's going to be a new meta underbarrel that is going to be more of a usable underbarrel in general for more of the meta weapons and especially the loadouts that I make. But of course, that's all going to come with testing for this Warzone Season 3. But that's all your changes you have to really worry about. I'm going to show you the battle pass and then we're going to get right into our Rebirth Island. And as you guys can see here, I did buy everything on the battle pass. So we have everything maxed out. There are two new weapons in this battle pass as well. The Moors, which is a sniper. I'm not going to use that one for this video just because I don't have it leveled up yet. And I fully already leveled up the FJX, which is apparently a metal weapon. I don't have the stats on it yet, but people are saying it's pretty good. I found the best build for myself so far, but again, it is day one. I am not sure if that's going to be the best build yet. We have a lot of testing to do. And for this video, we're going to be using the Black Cell Maxed Out Operator, which normally I don't really like their maxed out operators, but this one's pretty cool. Wolf cool eyes. I'm excited to try it out. Now let's get right into the Rebirth Island gameplay. And here we are on beautiful Rebirth Island. Now we haven't played this map yet before and obviously we're going to be testing it out. I haven't gotten too much information in the sense of just I haven't watched other people's live streams yet. I kind of wanted to go into this blind and then not watch too much content on it outside of the leaks that were kind of already leaked out before. And so far it looks nice. Let's go uh, while we're landing in. Let's see what it looks like from above. But my biggest letdown after playing Fortune's Keep a lot is that they made a lot of changes to that map in my opinion with the middle of it and everything uh this looks pretty identical the lighting looks really good and at first i love fortune's keep when i made the video it looked pretty cool as i got to play that map more i don't mind it i don't think it's a bad map by any say but i don't think that it is the best when it comes to those map changes after kind of playing it so much i definitely preferred the older version of fortune's keep so i'm a little bit nervous when it comes to rebirth right now if they're gonna change anything and kind of ruin it the only way we could find out is if we play this one here we go we're dropping in where do we want to land first time ever. I used to land bioweapons all the time back in the day. That was like one of my favorite places to land. I also used to just do straight into the prison as well. I think for the first time back, I think we have to go straight into the prison. I think we have to go right here on the prison roof or just on the prison like the bottom side and see what we can get done. This is not the landing that I was thinking of and I have immediately made mistakes. I don't like this. Let's go in here. We got a striker SMG. I don't think they buffed that one. I think they buffed the striker nine a little bit though. That guy apparently knows exactly where I'm at. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. We'll take that kill. We'll take that kill. We'll take those plates. I'm out of here. No, I have no ammo. Oh, my God. Thank God we killed him. I had no ammo. All right, that's two. That's two. We'll take it. Oh, there he is. Oh, we're challenged with a pistol? This guy is crazy. On the roof. Oh, my God. The lighting up here looks beautiful. And honestly, the prison feels good. No crazy middle map changes like Fortune's Keep. Enemy precision airstrike. I don't even know where that came from. That guy's landing over here. And also for this video, if you can't tell already, I'm going to be playing with different settings. Uh, my FOV is at 110 for this video. And the reason why I'm playing on 110 FOV is because I've been playing a lot of multiplayer ranked and I'm setting a goal for myself. I'm not a huge fan of ranked play just because I don't have a lot of time to stream, but I figured why not push myself a little bit and, you know, bring out the younger age in me and try and bring out the pro side of me a little bit while getting iridescent in multiplayer ranked and also Warzone ranked. So we're going to be doing some Warzone ranked content and multiplayer uh, ranked content on stream. So I'm playing on 110 because multiplayer, I think you're the, the best uh, FOV to play on multiplayer is like 100 to 105. A lot of the professional CDL players actually play on that. And then I love 120 on Warzone. It's the best on Warzone for the visual recoil and stuff. So I'm trying to find a medium. So when I switch back and forth, it's not like, you know, too crazy of a change. So I'm playing on 110 because it's not bad for Warzone and it's definitely not bad for multiplayer. It's just not the best and it's probably not the best for either in my opinion. And we're going to try and see if we can get used to this FOV for the iridescent challenge in both multi and 
uh, war zone. But all right, we didn't get too much money here. I'm definitely going to get some more money drops here in the future. I got to do some of my research and, you know, find the best drops. What's this guy doing? We'll take that kill. I'll take that kill any day, baby. Whoa, just like the old rebirth days, baby. We got him raging. I'm just like not, I'm just so happy with like this map right now that I'm not even like going for money. I'm kind of just running around. I mean, dude, seriously. This tacker eradicator feels pretty good right now. A WSP9, one of my favorite weapons. And what do we get? A, oh, a, oh my God. Oh, can I have the gun, please? Thank you. Oh, I was going to say, let me get a snipe. Let me get a snipe. Let me get, let me snipe you, boy. Let me snipe you. Oh, let me snipe you. No? You don't want me to snipe you? Okay. I mean, say less. I won't snipe you then. Where is this guy? Yep. WSP9 on you. We already killed that guy once. I hear some footsteps under me. What is this guy doing? All right. This is a nice WSP9 class. I don't even know what I'm using right now. This is not even my gun. But we got 10 kills already. Feeling like the old rebirth days. I hear some footsteps in here. I'm pretty sure. Hold up. Hold up. He's right above me. Come on. Yeah, baby. Goodbye, Zeno. More footsteps? Bro. The amount of action on this map is unmatched. Holy. I want to use this new gun, but I just feel like I'm in flow state right now. Where did I just get looked at? What the hell is he doing? Zeno, dude. I hear some more footsteps up here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Not today, buddy. Not today. Guys below. Oh, whoa. I didn't even see that guy. That caught me off guard. He jumped me. What did we just get? Did we get Mountaineer? Oh, my God. We got Mountaineer. What is this guy doing? Are these guys serious right now? Oh, that's... All right. We got to... We got to lock in here. We got to lock in here. Let's go get our loadout. All right. Let's get our loadout. For this video, I was going to be using the new sub, which is right here. And this is the best build I could find so far. We're going to be using the Holger 5.56 as well. It's because they nerfed the RAM and the Holger is always a really good assault rifle. One of my favorites. So I figured why not just use it for the video. All right. I hear some footsteps, I think, on grass. Did he just zip up? He did. No! Oh my god, baby. Bread goes down. We've taken out bread. If that was bread, man, we would have gotten slammed. Gun felt good, though. I just melted that guy. First kill with the FJX right there. Melted that guy. All right. Okay. Guy landing below us. Okay. Are we going to get a 20 bomb on our first rebirth video? Hold up. Oh my god. That guy's weak. We got him weak. We got to go push it. I'm popping a stim like the old days. Bringing back memories. I think he's like right. Oh my god. Whew. Definitely put this down. We get more stims. Wait, this guy can't. We can't let this guy get his loadout. If we get it, let him get his loadout, we're going to. We're trolling. Oh my god, he actually challenged me. I did not expect that guy to challenge me. Honestly, a good play. I thought that guy was going to run away. We've explored some of Rebirth. We're getting a nice look, but I don't think there's a lot of... Oh, no, 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 no. There's a guy right in there, too. Oh my gosh. Do we think this guy... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm going to die like that? I heard him, but I didn't like think he was like actually on top of me, dude. But this guy looks cracked. Let's see. Let's give him a watch, dude. Let's give him a watch. We'll take 17 kills. Eight or 18. 18 not even a bad game. Oh, Timmy's got 12, though. Oh, he's looking cracked. Caster curse. He goes down. We ended off our first ever rebirth game right now with 18. We'll take it. Our first ever rebirth video with 18. Got some gameplay here. Jo jo Joni. Oh, moving moving a little different. Can I watch someone get a kill? Is it is it that hard to ask? I guess it is. Interstellar on both weapons. This looks like a striker 9, I'm pretty sure. I mean, eventually we have to watch someone get a kill, right? Like, someone has to get a kill while we're watching them. Well, I mean, I guess we could watch the guy lose the game. That would be... No, there's no way. There's no way. We gotta get... We're back on Timmy, bro. This guy's a demon. He has 13 kills. Not 18 kills, but it's enough, you know? Pretty sure this is also a Holger 556. So, uh, the Holger might be uh, upping its way in the meta. I'm not gonna lie. That Holger might be up in its way in the meta. Oh, he hears him to his right. No. Out, like, you think he's above you. Yeah. 
guy's got to open up his ears, dude. Oh, he's using the moves. He's demon. We officially spectated a kill. We love this. I think Timmy wins the game. I'm going to put it right now. Timmy wins the game. If he wins the game, you got to like the video. If he wins the game, you got to like the video. I don't make the rules. I just state them. Here we go. I don't know what I just said. I take everything I just said back. Our first ever 1v1 rebirth spectator experience for the win. Who's going to get it? Cold or the other guy? Another Holger, by the way. I'm looking at a lot of Holgers. The Holger might be meta. Might be like the number one meta. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, no. He's taking fire. Okay. What's he going to do here? All right. So he doesn't have high ground. Oh, my God. He's doing 360s. Oh, this is confidence. I've, there's so much confidence in this guy's gameplay. Where are you going? Oh, this is... Oh, boy. Okay. This is what I wanted him to do when he, like, actually got the space the first time. Like, making him weak. All right. You got space. All right. Nate him. Nate him. Nate him. What the hell were those nades? Oh. Why is he coughing if he has a gas mask? High ground's retaken. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a good play. Oh. My. GG. Now, that was... All gunny and talent, no brains. But he got it done. GG, I like it. I think he gets got like 11 kills there. Not a bad game for cold. And for the gun that we were just using, the FJX is the brand new sub. This is what I was using. Now, I usually just kind of run through the attachments. But since this gun is brand new, the reason why I'm using a sight on this gun is because the iron sights, I don't know if I like them. Those don't look too bad, but when you start shooting them... I don't know. I feel like the 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 tip of the iron sight like kind of gets in the way of the actual iron. I don't know. It just doesn't look... Great, I would say. I know it's a submachine gun, but I don't know. I like the Jack Lassus optic just because it gets with some of that firing, uh, aim firing stability. You could also just use like a slate reflector or whatever you want. And then I was looking at some of the barrels and you could use this long barrel too. It's going to give you range instead of at 7.6 meters. It'll get you up to 8.8, .8, which is kind of important. But at the same time, it makes your ADS movement speed at 2.8 instead of 3.5. And this heavy barrel gives you a lot of recoil control. And for the casual player, I feel like the recoil control is really important too. So I don't know. I feel like this heavy barrel just makes more sense than the long barrel, even though that range does help sometimes. And then when it comes to the uh, movement barrel, you could definitely use this movement barrel too. It doesn't help you recoil as much, but uh, overall, I think the heavy barrel is not a bad shout. And then I was using everything else with this. You can, you can use the DR6 hand stop, but they did just nerf it so you could see that you're at 3.3 ADS movement speed here where the XRK edge you're at 3.5 and it's just nice to have that mobility while you're aiming in of course this is all me just testing day one loadouts right now I'm not too sure what I'm gonna kind of decide on and then of course there's other stuff too that you can kind of just look at but overall I think this was kind of the best build that I can just think of on day one and then of course the Holger 556 build it has not changed and it probably just got even better with the ram nerf so that's what we were rocking if you guys enjoyed this rebirth video make sure you guys like the video we have a lot of YouTube shorts that are coming out about Rebirth. We have a lot of YouTube videos coming out about Rebirth and we are getting iridescent in both multiplayer ranked and Resurgence Rebirth ranked as well for the season. So definitely check out my live streams as well. I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.